I don't know about you, but I have a 400 plus page book that I like to make into an audiobook. And so in searching for possibilities, I came across Love Voice. I liked its pricing. If you get it for a single month for $9, you can convert 2 million characters into audio. Or you can make a stronger commitment of $65 a year if you wish. But $9 for a month to convert 2 million characters, approximately 650 plus pages, that I feel is worth checking out. So if you also want to play with it, follow along and I'll show you what you can do. You click on the file to speech and then you find your file. So I'm going to start with the first chapter of my behavioral stats book. And then you extract the text that you care about. So here is my material, and you'll notice it's just the text itself. And I'm just going to delete everything below, like just a page or two, so I don't burn through a lot of translating text to audio. And I'll go ahead and have it convert this text to audio. One of the things that you're going to notice in this first pass is that it's going to read through this without any pauses, as though this were all one single sentence. So that's something I'm going to have to fix, but I do like the voice and how it's fairly natural sounding. I'm going to select as my voice uh, Andrew, and the rate I'm going to say is 8% faster than typical. And then I can just click the generate button. All right, let's hear how it sounds. One. Exploring and analyzing research data key terms descriptive statistics are used to summarize and better understand the data collected. Inferential st So you notice that it just went straight through a din pause. It does have an option where you can add a pause wherever you would like it. But it would be very time consuming for me to manually go through and add all these pauses where I would like. So there's going to be a better method which I'll show you in a few moments. Well, let's hear the rest of this voice because it sounds fairly natural. So I like the overall text-to-speech uh, options provided here. Statistics are used to make predictions and draw conclusions about an entire population based upon a representative sample. Representative samples act... So as I mentioned, I like the voice. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can add in those pauses to make it sound more natural. Uh, and I'll do this with the first chapter of my workbook. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the text that it created, and I'm going to copy it into a souped up version, if you will, of like Microsoft Notepad. I want to do find and replaces. I want to find any time I get to the end of a line and there isn't a period, I want it to add in a pause. So I would add a pause at the end of this title and end of the a pause at the end of key terms, but it would not add any additional pauses at the end of these sentences that end in a period or if I had a sentence or, or question ending with a question mark. So I just want the pause to end, to be at the end of anything that serves as a title, which fortunately enough doesn't have either like a period or a question mark after it. So I've highlighted this, I've copied it. I'm going to take it over to this app. Uh, which is at regexr.com. And you may wonder, what is that? Well, I looked that up. It says regular expressions are particularly useful for defining filters. And it goes on to share how this feature works. I am glad that it works. So I'll go ahead and I'll paste here my chapter one. There we go. And I have here at the top this filter which I'll include in the YouTube video description. And this expression, combined with what I want to be replaced, takes my material and adds to it a break time of 250 milliseconds at the end of each of my headings, which I liked. I went ahead then and I copied everything that it had created and I took it into another example of this same app and I copied in at the very top what had been created. Notice it has the break time of 250 milliseconds. And I told it to add in another pause of 100 milliseconds in front of these uh, headers to make the reading sound even more natural. As a result, I now have 
the material that I would like the Love Voice to read. And I have it with my pauses placed in. So now when I go ahead and have it generate, it's going to sound a lot better. So let's go ahead and give it a go. Click Generate. All right, let's hear it. One, exploring and analyzing research data. Key terms. Descriptive statistics are used to summarize and better understand the data collected. Inferential statistics are used to make predictions and draw conclusions about an entire population based upon a representative sample. Representative samples accurately reflect the characteristics of the population. Learning objectives and prompts for use with AI. Explain the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics. All right, so that gives you an idea of how this text-to-voice project can work. Again, my goal is to use the Love Voice to create an audiobook of my workbook so that my students are able to listen to it uh, in English. I can also take this English and translate it, machine translate it into another language like Spanish, and so I can get a Spanish audiobook. And so that might be something that a student prefers. A uh, student might have dyslexia or something else, or, or they're just driving and they like to listen to it. So it's all about giving the students options. Take care.